So let's start this off by taking a look at the all new content browser in Contact. So in this content browser, we can browse through and load any of the different presets that we get with Contact and also any of the add-on instruments that you may have installed on your computer. You can see here, I have over 10,000 different presets that I have access to. By the way, this window is also resizable. So I can click over here and expand or make it smaller. All right, let's make use of some of these tags to look for something because that's going to be kind of a large collection to look through. So let's say I'm looking for a bass sound. I'll click on bass here and let's go into character and pick a style for a bass. Let's say dark. All right, so that's interesting. We have this one collection, Analog Dreams, and inside this Analog Dreams, we have two presets that happen to satisfy our category of bass and dark. Another very cool new feature in this content browser we have is a preview option. So if I click on this preset, you can hear a quick little preview. I can adjust the preview volume here. Let's check out the next one. There's also a favorite tagging option. As you can see, I've already favorited this. Let's say I'm also gonna favorite this one. So now both are added to my favorites. All right, so let's say I would like to start again my search. I can click over here to clear out the search. But what's happening right now is that you notice that some of the sound type, or sorry, the character tags are active right now because I'm in the character category. If I go to sound type, you can see here bass, synth pad, sound effects are active. And you can see we only are seeing 207 presets. And that's because if you'll remember, I selected a particular category. I selected that analog dreams. So there's no quick way to clear out your search. You have to click out of a selected category. And now we're back to the 10,000 odd presets. All right, let's look for something else. Let's say I'm looking for some kind of a soundscape but I also want it to be a read instrument. Now, if I select read instrument, it'll cancel soundscape. But if you hold down shift, you can activate both. And now we have thousand odd presets and we can also go to character and pick something else. Let's go for clean. I'm holding down shift here. And now we have three different categories. All right, so these are all the different presets. They're all under this Evolve R2 collection. So let's preview one of these. Pretty cool, really long preview as well. All right, I'm gonna tag this as a favorite. Now let's talk about loading in the preset. So all you need to do is double click. And there we go. I've just loaded in that Guitar Clean Angels preset. I can preview it by playing some notes on the keyboard. Very nice. So this is the main contact instrument view. I'm gonna remove this instrument and let's switch back to the content browser. Now, let's say we're still looking for sounds. We haven't settled in on a sound yet. So what we can do is we can click over here and this will pin the content browser open even when we double click to load in a preset. So let me get out of this collection here. Let's clear out all this stuff. And let's go back to sound type and let's pick drums this time. All right, so I'm the drums category. Let's go to character. Let's load in an analog drum sound. All right, so now we have a few more options here, and these are all the different presets. Let's preview one of these. All right, that sounds interesting. Let's say I'd like to load it. I'll double click to load it in. Now it looks like nothing happened because we're still looking at the content browser, but I'm playing notes on my keyboard and I can play this instrument. So let's say I'm not quite sure if I want that yet. So let me keep looking around. Maybe I'll tag that as, as a favorite. Come back to it later on. Let's try this filthy one. Hmm, strangely pretty clean. But let's load it in by double clicking. And again, nothing happens here, but trust me, it has been loaded in. And you can hear I'm triggering those notes there. We can untag, or we can even close out of this window. And you'll see here, that's that instrument that was loaded in. All right, very cool. Let's actually close out of here and switch back to the content browser. Clear out our search. We're looking at everything here, 10,000 odd presets. If you wanna check out the favorites that you have tagged, like for me on my computer, when I click over here, these are all the presets that I have tagged as favorites, so I can load those in. 
You can also access your own custom instruments that you have created. So let me get out of the favorite because right now it's looking for both favorite and your own custom user content. But now just under the user content, I just have two presets here. Now these don't have previews because these are just manually made by me. Uh, most of the previews are only active in the factory content. All right, so that is basically how you can make use of the content browser. And before I forget, you can also type in something in the search. So let's go back, let's get out of here, go back to the main factory. Let's say I'm looking for a piano. I'll just type in piano. And any preset that has that name piano or is under the category of a piano will be selected. And as you can see, we have tons and tons of piano options. Double click to load it in. And as you notice, I did not pin the content browser, so we have switched to the instrument interface. 